So why are you late, madam? I went to see Jimmy. So, why the long face after seeing the supposed love of your life? Laura, don't mock me. I'm not mocking, I'm only stating the fact here. All right. What is it? Shoot. Did you guys have a fight? I don't know what is wrong with Jimmy. He doesn't want to take this relationship serious. This is three years already. And he still don't want to meet my mom. Then leave him. You know that is not possible. You know how much I love Jimmy. I can't imagine life without him. Ella, love is not a one-way thing. It requires two people. Two people to be in love. It's obvious that you're in love with Jimmy, but he's not in love with you. Love is commitment. Love is sacrifice. What has Jimmy sacrificed for you? Nothing. Is he committed? No! So what love are you talking about? Are you done? Please leave my office. I can't walk to you. Sorry, ma'am. I forgot you are my boss. Where are my things? What did I enter here with? Is this mine? Hold on. Mom called you to report me to you. Rita, listen. I never said I wasn't going to get married. Okay? I just want to do it at my own time. Yes, it's eternity we're talking about here. I don't know why everyone is on my case. No, I don't like this. Honestly, I don't. Please. What sort of nonsense is this? By the time I end up one, one choky lady like that, now everybody will do to your tent to Israel. Then allow me to face the music. What are we doing here? I uh, actually want us to get some clothes for me. I hope you'll be card. Clothes? For who? Babe, I'm going to need some new clothes if I'm going to meet your mom. You want to meet my mom? I would do anything for oh, you. Oh, So you have your card, yeah? Anything for you. Pick anything, I'll pay. <laughs> That's my girl. All right, let's go. <laughs> my family is really pissing me off. I mean, can you imagine my mother reported me to my other sister? <laughs> Um, what do you expect? Huh? No girlfriend? No relationship? Not even planning on settling down? I mean, it's a, it's a thing of worry. But, but, but you know my issues with women. I mean, they are all stalkers. One minute they want to know where you are, who you're with, and what you're doing. The next minute is a, a, you didn't call me to check up on me. Um, didn't you know I was sick? Come on, man. How am I supposed to put up with all that? You, you, you see, Ben, there is something you need to understand, okay? See, you have to brace up. That's just the truth. That's women for you, okay? One thing I believe in is that I know that someday you're going to find someone you love. You know, when you find oh. that woman you love, that woman you care for, my brother, you won't look at anything, like you won't consider anything when you want to do things for her. You go to any length to make her happy. You do anything exceptional, you do exceptional things for that person. When you find that particular woman you love, and I know someday you're going to find out. Oh, really? Yes. <clears throat> Benson would never kill himself to make any woman happy. Ben, 
<laughs> we shall see then. You see, but that's your fault. Why are you not taking your calls? I am not in the mood for any argument. That's my mother. That's what we're talking about. You need to have everything, man. You need it. <laughs> ah, Bell. Well, my two you, Jimmy and I are coming to the house this morning. Mom, this is not an official meeting. It's okay, it's okay. I'll, we'll come to the office. What did she say? She said we should come to the office. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so we have to head to the office right now? Yes. Okay, it's cool. Right. Oh my god, babe. Yeah? I forgot my necklace at your house. Oh. Can, okay. can you just turn this quickly? Okay, let me just hurry up. So from the house, we'll just head to the office. Yes. That's not a problem, okay? Tell me about this Jimmy of a guy. Ma, Ma I, don't, I, don't, I don't know anything about Jimmy. Ella doesn't talk about him much. You lie. You know you're lying to me. Because I know that you and Ella are close. And she tells you virtually everything. So for you to lie about this Jimmy of a guy, it simply means that it's not good for my daughter. But if I see a son that I can proudly call my son-in-law, I will know. So when I set my eyes on this Jimmy, trust me, I will know. Get me the report from the last meeting they held. Okay, Ma. Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome. Thank you. You came into my office, sat down on my couch and crossed your legs. Now put that leg down. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't think it was a big deal. Mom, meet Jimmy, the guy I told you about. Young man, what do you do for a living? Well, I... Um... He owns a boutique. <laughs> yeah. Did you forget you own a boutique or the boutique is in your head? I'm sorry, it's, you know, I kind of... What makes you think, sweetheart, that I will allow you to marry this thing? You can't get married to this thing. I won't allow you to do that. Mom, I love him. Oh God, will you just stop it? I won't sit and watch you make a decision that you regret in future. You can marry this thing that have nothing to present. God, I think I've had enough. You can't call me a thing, man. I'm a living person, okay? No, 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 let me talk. You can't rain down insults on me. I won't sit by and watch you do that because I want to marry your daughter. No, it's better you get up because sitting there is even too expensive right, for you. Then get up and leave my office. You can keep your daughter, but I promise you, man. When I make money, I will come back and you will beg me to marry your daughter. Oh, come on, get out. And don't spoil my door. Jimmy! Jimmy! Don't spoil my door. Hey, you come back here! God. I thought they wear these trousers for Jim. Not to the office. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Jimmy! 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 Look, I know that I'm not rich or anything. I don't come from a wealthy family, but that doesn't give your mom the right to talk to me like that, calling me a thing. What was that supposed to mean? Baby, calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. That was bullshit. Come on, like, what was that? Baby, we can sort this out. You were also rude to her, you know. This is just a misunderstanding. We can sort it out. Oh, Ella. 
Stay away from me. Jimmy! Mom, why did you do that? Why did you talk to him like that? So what if he's not rich? I love him. I don't care about his status. You see, the problem of that young man is not only that he's poor. He's rude. So unkept. How can I allow you to marry that thing that has no future? You can't marry that man. Mom, this is my life. I have every right to marry any man I choose. Then consider me dead. Mom! Yes. Consider your father's company dead too. Because I will not sit and watch you marry a nobody to waste all the efforts that your father and I put in place to build this company. I won't sit and watch you do that. We are done with this discussion. Scan these documents and send them to me. How did he go? Can you imagine my mom? She said I can't marry Jimmy. She, she even threatened that I should consider her dead if I marry him. Why would she say that to me? At this point, I, I just wish my dad is alive. Jimmy's not even taking my calls. Poor oh, Ella. Your mom is not completely wrong, you know. Even if your dad was to be alive, he would never allow you to marry a guy like Jimmy. A guy you foot his bills, yet he's ungrateful. Laura, don't provoke me. If you don't have anything meaningful to say, just zip it. I will zip it, but I'm still going to make my point clear. Jimmy is not good for you or any reasonable lady out there. Why am I even having this conversation with you? Don't you have work to do? Don't you? Please leave my office. Ella, can you just calm down and think this through? Laura, please. Okay, good luck with that. Mom, I'm not ready for this conversation right now. My peace of mind is more important to me because I really need to concentrate and do my work. When I am ready, I will settle down. Moreover, I am not that. Mom. Will you believe my mom sent me out of her room last night? She warned me never to mention Jimmy's name around her. I don't know why she hates him. Ella, I understand her fear. She's scared of what might happen if you end up with a guy like Jimmy. Ella, listen. Your father and your mother has put in so much effort to build this company to this level. So any guy that will marry you, Ella Daniels, has to meet up to some certain standard. You don't expect them to just throw you out to a nobody. But I can teach Jimmy how to handle this business. I'm sure he will learn. Really? I understand that you love Jimmy. That's not in doubt. But it's not what you're risking your parents' years of effort on. He's not a fighter. Okay, you said it yourself this morning. That he went to his apartment and his neighbor said he traveled to God knows where. Why did he run? If he loves you, he would have stayed back and fight for you. Ella, can't you see? I'm sure he will return. He will. Yeah, I'm sure too. Let's just hope he does. Um, while you are waiting, let's go and eat. 
I'm not hungry. You need to eat to be alive because I promise you it's going to be a long wait. Let's go. Laura, get out. Sorry, boss. Let's go and eat, please. Laura. Go. that packs this thing here but there are so many spaces for him to pack who is the idiot that packs this car who packs like this are you the one that packs this thing here did you see my car um i'm sorry about that i actually went inside in a hurry please take this thing off my way but i just said i'm sorry you don't want to take this thing off my way did you see the way you pack like a blind man do you really have to be this rude? Do I really have to be this rude? Look at the way you pack. Who packs like this? Do you need to see my car? Please take this off my way. Man, just move the car, okay? What exactly are you saying? I said I want you to marry my friend's daughter. <sighs> Which of your friends? Mrs. Daniel, of course. I met her in England last summer. She has this beautiful girl she just used her in her picture profile. She is very single and available. And you like her. She is gorgeous and she is very beautiful. And moreover, I have invited them both for dinner tonight. Mom, is this a joke? No, I'm very serious. Mom, this is 21st century. I mean, nobody arranges a wife for his son through WhatsApp. Ben, I am so tired of your excuses. I need you to meet with this lady and I need you to marry her. Please tell them the dinner is cancelled. No. Because I won't host them. You will host them. You don't have a choice. You are going to host them. Mom, I am no longer a child. I mean, gone are those days that parents arrange wives for their sons. Mom, you practically lived your whole life in England. I wonder why you're acting like a typical African mother. Mom, she, you, you don't even know this girl. She is from a good family. And she is the kind of woman you need in your life. Ben, if you do not marry this lady, when I leave your house, I will not come back. And don't even call me on the phone, because I do not want a son who does not obey me. <sighs> Wait, are you threatening me, Mom? Or is this emotional blackmail? You can call it whatever you want. They're still coming by 4 p.m. Deal with it. Do you think this is a good deal? The percentage is very good. Let's go for it. Okay. Let me just... Oh, sweetheart. Oh. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, Laura, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Mom, you didn't tell me you're coming. Uh, sweetheart. We are going somewhere. Where? A friend invited us for dinner. And we are going right now. Which friend? Oh, you don't know her, but I will introduce her to you. Mom, I'm busy. You can go alone. Oh, I can. My sweetheart asked me to go alone. Come on. Uh, is, that's her bag, right? Yes, yes. Oh, let me have it. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. We're going right now. Laura, huh? you have to take care of the office and tidy up everything because I am sure we are not coming back. Okay, ma'am. How the can we go? Please, I have the bag. Let's go. Don't keep your mother standing. 
But I know what to do. Now you see it as It's good night. this lady I promise you please give me a smile please give me a smile hello darling <laughs> oh. hi darling <laughs> nice to meet you how are you son I'm fine welcome man thank you <laughs> mm -hmm. both of you know each other already Yes. I guess there's no need for introduction now. We both decided you are getting married. What? Mom, what is she talking about? I guess we've decided for you two to settle down together and have an amazing family. Marry who? Him. This guy? Never. Mom, is this the girl you're talking about? This arrogant human being. Hey! Excuse me. Who are you calling arrogant? I won't stand here and watch you insult me. Mom, you brought me here to meet this mannerless man. I can't be here. Excuse uh, shit me. Happened. What just happened? Son? Calm down. You know, she might not be that bad. Yes. Are you being serious? Yes. God, everything about that girl irritates me. I mean, her attitude. I mean, she's just a spoiled brat. I mean, I wonder how a man in his right senses would want to end up with such a person. She's totally everything I hate in a woman. Ben, don't work yourself up, okay? This is very simple. She's a lady. You understand? And, you know, women, most times, when you see them like this, if you don't get to know them better, you might misjudge them. So as time goes on, you might understand that she has good parts and to cover up all these bad things you feel she does. Am I really that jobless? That I don't have any other thing reasonable to do with my time? I don't want to be with her. I don't. You see, Ben, you need to understand something, okay? You don't treat women the same way you treat men. You understand. You need to understand the way this thing works. Women are different, breed, and you have to take it easy with them. You don't get yourself worked up because of a little thing. You don't know the girl's mood. You don't know what she passed through. Hmm? Relax. Huh? It's no problem. Hmm? Why would my mom do that? She took me there without telling me where we were going to. I felt so embarrassed. And right now, I'm just so angry at her. Ella, I think you should calm down and think this through. There is nothing to think through. Nothing. This could be the victory you're looking for. God forbid. God forbid. Okay, Ella, let's look at it this way. You want the company, right? And your mom wants you to get married. Why don't you strike a deal with this guy? Marry him for a month or two. Your mother transfers the company to you, then you divorce him and settle him. But I can't stand that guy. He's very annoying. The two of you started on a wrong foot. It's easy to get the company if you marry him, since he's your mother's choice. I'm right. Do you think he will agree? You never know until you try. I don't even have his number. Call your mom to send his number. Is that simple, Ella? <laughs> and stop frowning. What do you think she would want to say? 
<laughs> Maybe she regrets her actions. Probably she wants to apologize to you. Even if she does, I won't still marry her. Calm down now, eh? Ben, calm down. Listen to her first, okay? Hear what she has to say before you conclude. Huh? You're taking things easy. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. Okay. You can sit. What is it? I have a proposition for you. And what makes you think I'm interested in what you have to say? From the information I gathered. Your mother is in your back to get married. And she thinks I'm the perfect match for you. My mother thinks the same. I don't like you. Neither do I want to marry you. But then something we both want. Which is? To get our mothers off our back. We can have a court wedding. Just to get them off. You know, it's obvious you are insane. I mean, what makes you think I will agree to that? Because I will keep it the marital life you want. I won't demand for anything. You won't even know I exist. We're going to be two perfect strangers living in the same house. I don't need you to get my mother off my back. I can handle her. If I tell my mom to tell her that I agree to this marriage, can you handle her constant disturbance day and night? You can just agree to this and have your peace. You know what? Let's just set this record straight. I understand the fact that you don't like me. But I want you to understand that the feeling is mutual. That is why this will work. Then after that, we'll know how to go about it. I still don't understand why you went such a hurry all of a sudden. <sighs> and went to just go home after you finish your court wedding and got in your certificate. Then I'll leave you and your wife to have your privacy. <laughs> all right, no problems. <laughs> to in the first place, but I was not expecting it to happen this fast. What's the point of wasting time?
like this now you're married like married married like really married yes just like that yes but wait ella ella you shouldn't have come to work today why what is why ella you just got married today and the last time i checked Newly wedded couple go for honeymoon, where they get to know each other, sleep with each other. Sorry. What about your stuff? I asked my mom to give them to the driver. He will move them to Ben's house. Ella, this, 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 this marriage. Like enough about my marriage. Enough. How far the. Keja and Idu. We are here to hear from them, but we hope to hear from them this afternoon. Okay. Madam, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Is Ben back? Uh, he's inside. Okay. Um, did did my driver bring my things? Yes, I don't carry them inside. Okay, thank you. Madam. Ah, by now, Oga, go down sleep. That's a call for phone. Oh. Okay, give me his number. Ah, madam, last week, uh, nine boys meet me. We can't fight. I beat them, sharp, but my phone lost. I never buy a new one. Then you're useless to me. Get out. that this guy locked me outside. I don't have his number. Laura, don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. I'm already pissed already, so don't provoke me. Call my mother and ask her to send you his number. Just tell her anything. Laura, just call her first. Call her. Hello, Laura. How far? You know what? Call her. Tell her to call Ben and tell him to tell me to call you. Call my mom. Tell her to call Ben and tell him to tell Ella to call you. I just need someone to wake that guy up for me. Mm-hmm. 
So you are alive and not dead. Do you know how long I've been knocking on this door? Who sleeps like that? Um, could you please bring your voice down? It's already late. Mr. Ben, when next you want to sleep like a log of wood, do where to leave the door open. Which way to my room? Will you die if you talk politely? And will you die if you mind your business? I don't have time for this. Which way to my room? Okay. Second room by the left, upstairs. your number here. Why? To avoid you sleeping in your car by the time you get back. <laughs> ben, ben, wait. This is not hard enough. Wait, wait, wait. Let me understand this. You mean you suddenly forgot you have a wife? <laughs> you locked the door and slept off just like that? <laughs> you know, as funny as it may sound, the mm. truth is, I totally forgot. Huh? I mean, I have already gotten used to staying here alone. And by the time I opened the door, she was already on top of her voice. Mm. What do you expect? Wait, you were expecting someone to hug you and kiss you and tell you, darling, you've done well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Bella. Eh? Well, you of all people should have known that this whole arrangement is too new to me now. It will still take time for me to adjust to it. Anyway, that's by the way. So, yeah. what's up with the expansion arrangement? Mm, I spoke to Mr. Aloy. He said he's going to organize a meeting for us to have to lock outside documents and it's certainly something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yo, Ben, I need to go, okay? Man, I'll see you later. Alright, I'm safe. Yeah. Hold on, young lady. What is wrong with you? When next you know you're going to come back this late, do well to inform me so I don't stay up late waiting for you. Young man, in this marriage, I owe you no explanations. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? This is my house, okay? In the face of the world, I am still your husband and I'm the first person that will ask about your whereabouts if anything happens to you. Are you trying to say something will happen to me? Make whatever thing you want to make out of it, okay? I've just stated the fact. I can see what you're trying to do. You're trying so hard to get yourself involved in my life, but it won't work. My life, my rules. No, hold on. Your life and your rules. Under your own roof, not mine. Mom, this marriage is too early for you to start talking about babies. Mom, the plan was for me to get married. I am married. What we should be talking about now is the transfer of the company. Mom, I have so many things I want to do with my life. I'm, I'm too young to have babies. I can't just spoil my body just like that. Mom, don't change the topic. Mom. Hello?
She said, no, baby, no company. How am I supposed to get pregnant? Why is my mom trying to frustrate me? Sorry, did I get you correctly? Maybe I don't understand your use of English. What do you mean by how are you supposed to get pregnant? How do married women get pregnant? Ella, you are married. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let me understand what you're trying to say. Are you insinuating that I should sleep with Ben? Mm -mm. Drink water and get pregnant. Of course you sleep with him. He's your husband. God forbid. I can't stand that guy. I can't even be on the same bed with him, let alone allow him to touch me. Ella, Ben is good looking. Like, he's handsome. Every lady in her right senses wants to go down with him. Are you blind or there is more to this? Even if I want to get pregnant, Ben is not an option. Okay, tell me about it. So you're planning to cheat on your husband? Laura, how are you saying this marriage? Because from my own point of view, this marriage is only but a deal. Ella, I will not support you to do something stupid. Okay, both of you live in the same house. You see him every day. You can talk to him, you can come up with a plan. Just talk to him first. A plan? Yes. A plan that does not involve me sleeping with him? Maybe. Okay. Tell me about it. Ben! Ben! Ben, why did you take food from my pot? Um, I came back and I was hungry, so I took a little soup from the pot. How lazy can one be? So you can't even cook ordinary food for yourself? You can't! Do I look like your cook? Do I? Ella, why are you sounding like this? I said I took a little soup from the pot. Moreover, this is my house, and I have the right to eat whatever I want in the kitchen. I see. Your house. I'm going to transfer money to you to cover for this rent. Send your account number to me. Mark, this one pin me. He pain me and her body. This girl is so bitter, rude, and so saucy. <laughs> ben, you need to calm down. I've told you this. You need to calm down. You see, I hate to say this, but I have to tell you, my friend. I think this marriage thing, you rushed into it. Yes, you did not consider lots of factors before rushing into it. And that is what's playing it. That lady looks like someone that can frustrate you. Yes. Frustrate me. Yes. In my own house. But that's not possible now. Because I will put her in her place. Mm -hmm. Then how do you want to do that? You see, Ella is that type of a woman that likes to be in control. These type of women, they always want to control the man. They want to be in charge. And there is nothing you can do about it because they will go to any length to make sure they are in charge of the house. Yes. So, um, don't forget the rules of marriage, okay? You know what you've signed in, and you have to play by the rules so that you don't do anything funny, okay? Mark, mm -hmm. as long as that lady is under my roof, mm -hmm. she will learn how to respect me, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> ah, uh, then uh, you're way tired of me. Uh, but you don't say that you find trouble. Now you find trouble. Why did you eat her food? Eh? Why don't you stay on your own and avoid everything that concerns her, everything that has to do with that woman? Avoid it so that you stop having problems and have peace in your house. Hmm? Learn how to stay on your own. Ben. Um, ben, can you help me check my car? It's not starting. Oh, I see. I mean, it sounds like your personal problem, not mine. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be assisting you with anything. Take care.
Reagan. Come. Come. Mother. Do you know any mechanic around here? Mechanic. Mechanic. The guy one way they this our street side. That's front side like that. Is he good? Very good. I'm not too sure. Is he the one that fixed um Ben's car? No, I can't get one joint like that when they fix in your car. That mechanic sabi. Oh, okay. Take this. I'll send my mechanic to come and pick the car. Okay. Madam, come in, let me drop you off. So now you want to go and drop me after saying you owe me no favors? But do I owe you any favors before? I am only doing this because I don't want to be tagged a bad person. Even if it means you crawl into your office, how is it supposed to be my business? Listen, if you're thinking about ordering a ride, don't bother yourself because none will come here because of the bad road. Unless you're willing to trek to the junction. Something is changing and I'm not getting the gist. What are you talking about? Ben dropped you this morning. I saw it in my eyes. Help me now. I don't even want to remember what happened this morning. Do you know that that, that guy, he drove past me this morning when I asked him to check what was wrong with my car. Only for him to go and park outside waiting for me to ride with him. Backed outside and he brought it to work. You see? He is not a bad person. He's, can't you see he's a good guy? Why are you always painting this guy good? Because he's good. You're the only bad person here. Because you're always picking quarrels with this innocent guy. He even brought it to work this morning. Nah, don't you have work to do this morning? I have, but I'm here giving you the full gist. Madam, go back to your desk and do what you were employed for. Okay, ma. But you need to be nice. For once in your life, be a woman and be nice to him. Laura, no? walk. Remember that you need to talk to him about pregnancy. I'm just saying, be nice. Don't kill anybody. Sorry, ma. Hold on, let me take this call. Mom, good evening. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Even your daughter-in-law, yeah, she's fine too. Mom, this what's this pressure about babies? It's barely one month. Mom, you know what? I'll call you back. I'm actually in the middle of something now. All right, take care, ma. All right, bye. What babies are you talking about? My mom. She's talking about our grandchildren. She expects you to be pregnant. Pregnant for who? Wait a minute. I hope you're not giving your mom hope that I'm going to get pregnant for you. Because I would never, ever have kids with you. 
Just keep hyping yourself. So in your craziest imagination, you think I would ever want to have a child with a mad woman like you. The only reason I'm tolerating your excesses in this house is because I don't have a choice. If my mother is desperate about grandchildren, I will adopt for her. You don't get it, do you? Ella, you are the last person I would want to have a child with. If it's about my mother, I'll handle her. He don't have a choice. He must agree to this adoption. Ella, are you being serious right now? Adoption for an only son when you're medically fit to bear him kids. Ella, is this the extent you can go because you hate Ben? Ella, you have always wanted to have your own kids. You love kids. What happened? The person I'm going to have the kids with matters. I don't like Ben. But if I'm going to have children, it's going to be with Jimmy, not, not Ben. <laughs> Ella, if not that you're my boss, I would have asked you if you are all right upstairs. What are you? Who is Jimmy? Like, what is his surname? You want to have kids for that stupid pastor of a guy than Ben? What is wrong with you? Ella, if you try anything adoption, I will report it to your mom. You wouldn't dare. Don't dare me. Because there's an extent to being silly. Hell no, man. How, how did you come up with a suggestion like that? I mean, how can you even consider such an option? Tell me. And what do you want your mother to do if she gets to hear this? Hmm? How do you want her to feel? Um, Mark, it's not like I actually like the idea of adopting a child with Ella. But what other choice do I have? Obviously, I cannot have a child with someone like her. Are you, are you serious right now? Man, you are losing it. You and I know that your mother is going to freak out if she gets to find out. Hmm? Ben, you see, my advice to you now is for you to go back home, get your wife pregnant, and have a child. Be a real man. Go and do what real men do. What are you insinuating? That I'm not a real man? Are you? Answer me now, Ben. Let's not be like I'm trying to get you upset. Are you a real man? If you're a real man, then prove it. Okay? I, I, don't, I don't just understand. See, I'm not part of this your planned uh, fake or arranged marriage. My brother, I will give you my advice and that's it. I can't paint words for you. What I'm telling you is that whatever you are considering is wrong. People don't do it. You can't even say it outside. Being that I know, I don't think you have any medical challenge. You and your wife, you guys are fit to have children. Then why are you considering adopting someone's child? I will give you as the last advice I will give you on this, and I will not talk about it again. Go back home and get your wife pregnant. Or is there something you are not telling me? Tell me, Anna, are you not, uh, are you not fine? Right?
You called me. Um, you know, our moms wouldn't accept adoption. And in order for us to have peace of mind, I think we should do the right thing. insinuating that I should have a child with you. We had an agreement before this marriage. So please stick to it because I would never, ever sleep with you. And who's talking about sleeping with you? You know, I'm really tired of you rubbing it on my face concerning the agreement we had before this. What I meant by doing the right thing is going to our moms to tell them that this whole marriage thing was a deal. You would do no such thing. I've already made up my mind. Ben, you can't do that. Not now. Not now that I'm, I'm close to achieving my target. What target are you talking about? My... My mom said I can't be CEO if if I don't get married. Oh. You lied to me. I did not lie to you. I just withheld some information. God. You're actually worse than I thought. Are you begging me? Yes, I am begging you. You can't do this. Not now. Please. So you can actually beg for something? Okay. Let's pretend I decide to help you achieve your aim. I just want you to know that what your mother is asking for is not within my reach. I cannot have a child with you. We, we, we don't need to have a child. Do I just call her and tell her that I'm pregnant? You want me to lie to her? You've been lying already. Just one more lie. She'll give me the company and we'll get a divorce. It's a win-win for us. You have your peace of mind back. God. How do you sleep at night? What stage are you talking about? Ben told you about the pregnancy? I, 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 I wanted to call you. I, I forgot. I'm sorry, it skipped my mind. You know what, Mom? Let me call you. Give me 10 minutes, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Thank you. For the records, I did what I did because I wouldn't want you to go out there and start telling people that I was the one who ruined your chances of becoming a CEO. And please, speak to your mother so she can hand over those documents to you. Okay? Your time here is limited. I will handle everything. Don't worry. I'll leave your life very soon. Just so you know, we are not cool. She asked me to tell the mother that she's pregnant, mm -hmm. and I did. The mother now called my mother 
to tell her that Ella is pregnant. <laughs> and my mother now called me to congratulate me that she cannot wait to have her grandchild. I, 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 I don't understand. See, let's get this straight, okay? When Ella asked you to call her mother and lie to her, and you did, man, you must be mad. See, I understand it sounds crazy. All right, but I just don't want to be that guy who ruined her life ambition. I don't understand. What nonsense life ambition are you talking about? Is that your business? Is it your business? Ben, ben I, don't, I don't understand you anymore. Huh? Tell me the truth. Are you liking that girl? God forbid. Why would you even think of something like that? What are you talking about? I, I, I mean, how can she ask you to lie and you did? After doing it, you, you come and tell me uh, you don't know what to do. I think you know what is going on. And I think you know what you are doing. Is it that you're loving this girl or you are trying to not feel or maybe nothing feelings for her? My brother, I understand how you feel about it. Okay? But the only thing there is very soon this whole thing will be over. And things will get back to the way it used to be. Man, this one knows I don't know. My brother, just. Just it built. Ah. Don't just forget. Oh, sweetheart. Mom. <sighs> yes, darling. What are you doing? Uh, ah, I came as soon as I heard. Okay? This is my first grandchild. So I've come to take good care of you until you put your bed. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my in you know, How are you? I'm doing fine, Mama. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You see? This is your first grandchild, my first grandchild. And why are you wearing something so tight like this? Why are you wearing something as tight as this? Want to kill my grandchild? Go in there and wear something free, a maternity gown. Free gown. There is nothing wrong with what I'm wearing. There is everything wrong with what you are wearing. This is my first grandchild. I don't want anything to happen to this child. Don't you know that first pregnancies have been pampered? That's why I'm here. To pamper you, my dear. Oh, please go in and wear something free, oh. Be oh. Wear a free gown. Maternity gown. How you should be wearing now? Oh, don't talk, Petteri. Want to kill this child? But don't do it too much. You're pregnant. Ah. Hey. Mamo. I know that my daughter uh, could be nasty and very stubborn. But you see, uh, a baby has a way of changing a woman's life. You see this pregnancy. By the time she gives birth to this baby, it will change her. Oh? We'll guide her together. She's stubborn. Oh. See this thing you're saying now? That's exactly what I've been telling her. You told her that? Yes. And she didn't listen to you. Okay. Hi. What is wrong with this girl? Okay. We'll keep talking. Eh? This is my first grandchild. I don't want anything to happen to this baby. No, well, nothing will happen to the baby. Uh, mm -hmm. welcome. Let me take this bag inside. Uh, 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 make sure uh, she wears something free. Oh, I'll make down. sure. I'll make sure. If she doesn't have, yeah. open my boss. Then we can clean it down. <laughs> no problem, ma. What? Okay, mama. Hi. Hi. I don't want anything to happen to this child. I please can't. What do we do? Because your mother cannot stay here. And if she stays here now, she's going to find out that everything is a lie. I'm as tensed as you are. But we just need to keep everything cool so she won't find out what is going on. I don't like this. Does it look like I'm enjoying this? If your dad gets trims are dirty, okay, I think you have to put up with your mom for the meantime. Huh? My mom cannot find out that we're not in the same room. So what do you have in mind? I'll, I'll move some of my things to your room. Are you okay? To whose room? To your room. I am not sharing my room with you. Do I look like I want to share your room with you? Do I even look like someone that wants to stay with you? It's just temperate, to like, get rid of her. What's 
the sleeping arrangement. Are you blind? Can't you see I'm sleeping on the bed already? If you want to sleep, that's the couch there. If the couch is too short for you, use the floor mat. I think it's even enough so you have enough space to spread your tiny legs. I can't sleep on the couch. Why would you even say that? You're the man here. You should sleep on the couch while I sleep on the bed. As JB is now. In my own house. On my own bed. I thought you didn't want to lie on the same bed with me. What's the sudden change of mind? Just shut up and sleep. And please keep your hands to yourself. I hope you don't have scabies, so because I don't have time to start looking for where to get drugs to take. her shoes uh, because if she bend down so much she will have complications and I told Ademia this is my first grandchild I don't want it at all so help her do all these things mom I'm pregnant not crippled I'm not saying you're crippled though but you should be bending down at this stage oh. but mom there is no big deal in wearing her shoes honey if mom said you should have to wear this shoe help me wear uh -huh. help her wear the shoe Ben please Help her. What? Huh? Ahem. See, I know you're a very, very wrong driver. I know you drive anyhow. You forgot what you I know. What is it? The baby? I don't want you to drive at all, Ella. I don't want to put the steering at all. Ella, what is it? Nothing. So don't put that starting at all. Ben, no. Mom, I can drive myself. No, you can't drive yourself. Be a Ben. Because, oh, now, take the car key. Drive her to the office. When you get there, you drop her. In the evening, when she's done, you pick her and at 12, you can come back together. Oh, don't allow her to drive at all. For the sake of my grandchild. Please. Oh, now. Yes, ma'am. And walk gently. Ella, Ella, Ella. Ella, this will be the first and last time you wear something short like this. And look at how tight that thing is uh, under your breast. Don't wear it again. We have free girl, bro. In fact, I need to go and check your wardrobe and know what is there. If you don't have, I'll give you some of my own. It better be oversized than undersized. Feel the hard Try Don't tell anything to happen to this child. Yeah, discuss with your team and get back to me. Okay. I'll be waiting for your call. Did your car spoil again today? No. So the ship is sailing and you're not telling me. Then he dropped you this morning and I saw him. My mom asked him to drop me. She said it's not safe for me to drive with the pregnancy. Pregnancy that is not existing. Laura, let's forget about that one. My mom in that house is like a terror attack to my plants. She's tagging everything to the pregnancy. Will you believe she made Ben wear me my shoe this morning? You needed to have seen his face. But that's not even my problem. I need to get her out of the house before she finds out the truth. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You mean Ben wore you your shoe this morning? Yes, and you needed to have seen his angry face. 
えあ、ー、あ、um, I think your mom is trying to make you both understand the tax of parenting. And she wants you to be taken care of by your lovely, sweet, darling husband. Must you make a joke out of everything? Must you take everything serious, mother? Enjoy the attention while it lasts. Which attention? Maybe I enjoy seeing him serve me, but I don't enjoy sharing the same room with him. Wait. I'll really be missing up with a lot of updates. Wait, you mean you are sharing the same room with Ben? Like you are sleeping with him or in the same bed? Laura. Laura. Get this thought off your head. And I'm losing up a little. You take everything very serious. You have been sleeping on the same bed with a good looking young man. You are not making good use of the opportunity. Hmm? Be touching. There is cold. Be Wait. touching and so cold kill you. Nara. Hmm? I want to understand something. Why have you been pushing for Ben? Is there something you're not telling me? Is Ben paying you? I'm innocent. Both of you are playing a game. And I'm watching. What did I do? Well, touch hands. That is good. Look at your face. You're not sleeping on your bed. Bernu. Mama? Uh, tomorrow, eh? You have to take Ella to the hospital and register her for Antinenta. The water go, so they can give her her drugs and she begins to take them on time. Okwa maka the health of the baby. Oh, okay. But, Mama, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the hospital. I know that you will argue this with me. That is why I'm talking to Ben. Because he's the most sensible person in this house when it comes to this pregnancy. Mom, why will you say that? Why won't I say it? Are you not supposed to be attending at center by now? Are you not supposed to have your drugs by now? Why won't I say it? Ben and Nam, you heard what I said, right? Yes, Mama. Tomorrow, take her to the hospital for Antinenta. Mom, I'm not a baby. I don't need him to take me to the hospital. I can take care of myself. Ah, if you can take care of yourself, why haven't you gone to the hospital to register for Antinental? Adult. Why haven't you gone there for them to give you your drugs? They have yellow, there is red, there is blue. So they will give you, start taking it on time for the health of this baby. When I carried you in this room, I took those drugs. Uh, ben, mm -hmm. for the health of this baby, I don't want to hear this story. Oh. Take her there for registration. Antinental. Tomorrow morning. Don't forget. No, no problems, I'll do that. Oh, mama. Mm -hmm. Hello, son. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> the program. Ben. Mama fed you. I'll take her to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're enjoying this show. What show? Your mom's staying here. I don't understand. She's your mom. If you want her to leave, you can actually make her leave. After all, I'm not the one who has targets to meet. So this is my cross now? It has always been your cross. What are we going to do about the Antinata? What else if not to register you for it? You and I know we can register for Antinenta. Why? Because it's stupid and stupid. Am I? I can see what you're trying to do. But I will not be getting me angry. No more woman need me. Da dun da dun dun dun. Get all these monkeys off my back. 
Do 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 do. My enemies miss me. Do 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 do. Make sure you follow her through all the process. Eh? Okay. Make sure she goes through everything. We need to go through it together. I will, ma. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mom, you said enough. Go back inside. Um, baby, your mom is just trying to make sure everything is all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ella, <laughs> don't get dehydrated, though. Yes, ma. Drink lots of water. Okay, mom, I've heard you go uh, back inside. Uh, ben, that big water, bottle water. Buy it, please. Okay. Oh. No, I'll even buy the pack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mom! Uh -huh. I'm just giving the right... Ben, don't worry. Advice. Yeah, that is what it is. Let her drink water. No problem. I'll make sure. Mama, don't worry. Just go inside. I'll make sure she takes enough water. Okay. Baby, come. Let me open the door for you. Ben. Did you just call me baby? Yes, I just did. Please don't call me that again. It doesn't sound nice in your mouth. Yes, ma'am. What do you suggest we do? My mom is no longer talking about the transfer of the company. All she cares about is the pregnancy. Um, from every indication, I think that sounds like a personal problem to me. <laughs> yes, you've been the brain box bringing out stupid ideas, like telling your mom that you're pregnant when you know you're not. Can you be reasonable for once? Let's talk like so much of people. The only solution there is to tell her that you are not pregnant. Do you want my mom to freak out? I can't tell her that. Okay. So. I suggest we go to a place and chill out first. And later on, we could just go to the pharmacy and get your routine drugs. Do you know the, the routine drugs? It went well. Thanks, bro. So, how many weeks are you? Um, eight weeks, Mama. Eight, eight weeks? <laughs> so, when is the EDD so I'll get prepared for your mogul? EDD? The expected due date. Oh, Mama, the doctor did not tell us. Yes. But I think she still has up to seven months. Mm -hmm. Mama, relax. You still have enough time. So, when is her next appointment? When I see the doctor next. Tired. I am so rest. Okay. Alright, no problem, Mama. <laughs> you know so much about pregnancy. I hope you don't have a child somewhere. And I'm supposed to answer that question. Moreover, if I had a child somewhere, why would I be stuck here with you? Next time, if you want to play a pregnancy game, make sure you get your facts right. Oh,
<laughs> Ella, uh, you look pale. What's the problem? She has been vomiting. What? Did she take her drugs? No, she did not. Ella, you have not taken your drugs. You are supposed to be taking those drugs the way they told you to take them. Why are you not taking your drugs? Uh, ben, go and get me the drug. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Do you think this pregnancy is a joke or game? Ella. Mom, I don't need these complaints right now. Why are you not talking about transferring the company to me anymore? I've fulfilled all your conditions. Can you hear yourself? Transfer the company to you in this condition? Do you know the stress that will add to this body? You are pregnant and you want to handle the company at the same time? No. I prefer you concentrate in this pregnancy while I take care of the company. Mom, what are you saying? You heard me. Concentrate on this pregnancy. After you give birth, the company will be yours. You're not dragging it with anybody. Mom, why do you keep changing conditions? Why? What if I, 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 I never give birth? It's okay, you're telling me that you're going to carry this pregnancy forever. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Mom. Huh? You're carrying it forever, yeah, ma? Mom, seven months is too long. I can't wait. I, I need to start handling that company. I need to take charge. I've made up my mind that I'm not transferring that company to you now until you put to bed. Period. Now you have to take your drugs. Now the water is ready. Uh -huh. Yeah. How can somebody say you not take your drugs? I know you fully that you're pregnant. Oh, you this is about not fair. This is not fair. I'm doing it for your own good, though. I don't care if it's fair or if it's purple or green. Why is my mom doing this? Why can't my mom give me this company so we all can have peace? Um, you just need to calm down. I can't calm down. I'm losing my mind. I can't even think straight. Put your voice down before she hears you. Let's just think of... You, you have to think of something else to do. If she doesn't give me that company, I'm going to do something everybody will regret. Oh. Power mic. What do you think you would do? You want to forcefully take it away from her? The kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent one to get it by force. That is not for people like you. If you like, sit here from now till tomorrow. Nothing will come out of it. The earlier you lay down here and rest, the better for you. Because even if you think from now till tomorrow, see this your empty head, nothing will come out of it. Why am I even having this conversation with you? Empty container. Empty container. Make it the loudest noise. Empty container. Empty container. Um, you see these receipts, eh? Yes, sir. Make sure the manager signs them. Okay. Hmm? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He's on night shift. Okay. So this is the same thing I told you, eh? I've said this several times. Let me see the total down here. Because without the. Ah, hey, Benoski. Ava. Ah, Mama. Good evening, how are you doing? Ben is cast like this. So he's cast Ava. past Petro. And they come. In a long story, man. Ah, they know, Mama. <laughs> So you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. If, if you give me these figures and you don't have a total, it's assumed that these things are not correct. Okay. Always end with a total. I've said this and tell Nora too, okay? Okay, sir. Update this and make the corrections. Look at, look at now. You're not doing what I asked you to do. Sorry, do that sir. before you leave. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Hey! Manega, manega. <laughs> what? This one now, you. You don't tell. <laughs> Eh? Hey, wait till they saw. Hey, what's up now, man? My brother, it has not been easy. 
I've been trying to help Ella. The mother insists that she must have a child before handing the company over to her. Uh, child, I, I don't get that. You and I know that uh, Ella is not pregnant. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, I'm just trying to see if there's any way I can, I can help her. <laughs> ben, you're at it again. Ben, the only way you can help Ella is to get her pregnant. Go and get that lady pregnant. Yes. You're not serious, are you? <laughs> I, I am now, man. I'm serious. Get her pregnant, man. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Every time we're talking about the same thing, repeating it. What are you doing? Who are you calling? Ella. Why? I want to call her to check up on her. She was really acting crazy before I left the house. <laughs> Tell me, when, when did you start getting worried about um, Ella's uh, mental health? Hey, Ben. So, what happened to... Uh, she can never control me. A lady cannot talk to me like that. I cannot do that. I cannot... What happened to... In fact, I'm not calling her again. Whatever thing she wants to do, let her do it. Hey, what are you doing, man? Eh? You always baby like a baby. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up your phone and call her, Joe. I know you have uh, started uh, developing uh, little, little feelings for that girl. <laughs> eh? Say the truth. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it sounds strange, Joe. I'm sorry, my man. What will I get for you? Eh? What do you want to take? Let me get something for you. Calm down. Eh? Madam, this your mood will not get you out of this situation. I think you need to start finding a way to fake this your baby bump. To buy enough time to convince your mom. It's not yet time for baby bump. It's still early. Sometimes it takes four to five months before they start showing. Okay. I just want to remind you ahead of time. I don't have plans of waiting that long. I will resolve this whole thing very soon. And what's your plan? If by the end of this month my mom don't transfer those documents to me, I'm going to initiate a miscarriage plan. Huh? Are you okay? How far are you willing to go to achieve this, your CEO? I will go to any length to achieve it. Do you know you're devilish? De devilish devil. Husband of devilish devil. I am not your husband, madam. My brother, you are. Look at my finger. Ben! Hey, Shaq Ben! Ben! Here! Here! 
Maman. Ah, What is it? He's pressing it. Wait, his sorry, Say, sorry. Don't press it hard. I'm trying to get the exactly. Don't re She's pregnant, oh. Massage it. Hey, put your hand like that. Small. Put your hand. Ah! <laughs> Ben, Ma, if anything cool. happened to this baby inside here, but keep it a little bit. I will not take it easy with you. Massage it over no, over. No, I'm doing it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Put your hand well. Uh -huh. This is it. Ben, gradually now. Easy, easy. Uh -huh. Wait, easy, now. Easy, easy. Sorry, sorry, easy. sorry. I think I'm getting the right place. Uh -huh. I'm getting the right place now. There's a baby inside there. But she didn't give me one. You'll be in trouble. Okay, Mama. Your mother made this for you. And you brought it? Uh -uh. I took it away. She said you should eat it, that it's going to boost your blood level. You're beginning to bug me with this, your caretaker. Oh, sorry. What are you trying to do? Come on, mm -hmm. mom. Are you even hungry? I've been following nonsense. See that nonsense you tried earlier today. Try it again and you see what I'll do to you. Thank God you felt the impact of my hands. Next time I'll send you to orthopedic with eight broken ribs. I'm feeling cramps in an empty stomach. Hmm. <laughs> Eat it because you need it. Flying carpet. Very soon that breeze will blow. I'll carry you away. Reachable. No, I know it's been really crazy, but look, I don't want to focus on where I've been right now, okay? All that matters is that I'm back and I'm here for you. You look, you look different. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So, we have uh, a lot to talk about. Is there somewhere else we could go? You know, talk, catch up? I, I have a lot on my decks. Maybe tomorrow. Come on, I've missed you so much. Just. Two hours. I promise. Tomorrow. I'm busy. Okay. First thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. Morning. Promise? Yeah, promise. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So let me give you my new line so maybe we could talk text. So. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright. Wow, you're looking looking good. Thank you. It's been forever. I'm sorry I ghosted.
look so good. Different. I'm not asking you about his looks. What does he want from you? He just wants us to talk, nothing more. Ella, you are married. And Jimmy is the last person you should be having any conversation with, no matter what the topic is. Laura, you and I know the terms of my marriage. Moreover, he just wants to talk. Maybe he wants to apologize for the way he disappeared. That guy is a bad news. He is a bad news. You need to avoid him. Relax. It's nothing. Get me the five for the journal cell deal. I said my own. I know you won't listen. Get the files, just relax. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? I am fine. You know you were looking like this when we were coming back from the office. Then I am fine. <laughs> Ella, I think I know when you're telling lies and when you're telling the truth. <laughs> Jimmy, stop. Stop, please. Please. I called you separately and you're not taking my calls. Is there a problem? I'm a married woman. You can't be calling me at odd hours. Uh, it's like, look, you and I know that you don't really love that guy. Okay? I promised you that I was going to come back for you and I'm here now to make you mine forever. So babe, please, just Please. You disappeared into thin air. No calls, no messages. You just showed up and you feel everything worked the way you want. Jimmy, are you married? Get that into your head. <laughs> Ella, you are mine. You belong to me. Your marriage to that guy is a joke. You know it. I know it. He knows it. So can you just stop with all this drama? Just stop. Please. You have overstayed your welcome. Please leave. <laughs> You've been serious right now. Okay, okay. I see the game you're playing. It's cool. It's solid. Jimmy, get out. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go, yeah? But I'll be downstairs waiting and you have just 10 minutes. If you don't show up, I promise you're getting dog. What game is he talking about? Does he know about my deal with Ben? That's the question. Who 
to Zimut. Jimmy knows something. I can feel it. I don't understand what you're saying. What are you saying? He... He spoke about my, my marriage to Ben being a joke. I think he knows something. It's not possible. How is that even possible? What if he does? Yeah, you need to ignore that guy. Like he's, he's just a noisemaker. You need to ignore him and focus on your life. I need to find out where he goes. Where are you going to? Huh? Ella, you don't want to do this. Ella! 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 What are you doing here? Your mom said I should come take you out for lunch. And she's very sure you've not had anything yet. So where are you rushing up to? Um, lunch. I'll go my way to lunch. Okay. Alright, let's go. My darling husband came to take me out for lunch. I thought you left so you make money and come back and prove a point to my mom. Why are you back and why are you asking me for money? Stop that rubbish. Love who? You never loved me. The only thing you cared about was the benefits of dating me. Jimmy, my life is going just fine. Why did you resurface into my life? Why? Jimmy, I am married. I'm even pregnant. What did you just say? What are you talking about? What is it? Ella. Ella, you've not been yourself for days now. What exactly is going on with you? Nothing I can't fix. Hmm. Fixer. You and I know that if this one was fixer, we would have fixed it by now. I ask again, what is going on with you? Mind your business. Young lady. <laughs> your business is my business. May I remind you you're still under my roof. And as long as you are here, I should be aware of whatever thing that is going on here. Because whatever happens to you here, I'll be held responsible for it. And the earlier you stopped being selfish, 
and start thinking about how your action affects other people, the better for us. Jimmy wants me back. He knows everything. <laughs> Who is Jimmy? My ex. He knows everything. He's threatening to tell my mom everything if I don't come to him. So what do you intend doing? I don't have another option. I have to go to him. If I don't leave this house, he will expose me. I will lose everything I spent my entire life working for. Oh, really? So why don't you walk up to your mom and tell her the truth? Because she would never forgive yourself if you finally get this company through lies. I can't tell my mom. She will never forgive me. This whole thing will break her heart. Um, Ella, I still think it's the best you told her the truth. Because at the long run, she's still going to find out. And it will even break her heart the more. This company we are talking about is still yours either ways. You're still her only child. And you'll still get married and have your kids. At the end of the day, it will still fall back to you. So why put yourself through all this stress? Anyways, that's my own two cents. I was selfish. I didn't think about how this will affect you. I manipulated Ben into doing everything. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm ready to take any punishment for my action. Ella, you didn't deceive me. I knew all along that you were pregnant. Mama, you knew? Yes. <laughs> Nothing changed in her body. And most of the times when I ask you something about this pregnancy, you had nothing to say. It's always Ben that will come in in one way or the other to manipulate the whole situation. I knew it. If, if you knew, why, why didn't you react or say something? The fact that both of you came together to play the game made me curious. I saw the game clearly. I decided to join the game. I wanted to watch and see how far you two will go with this game. I know that you don't love Ben. So I decided to play the game along with you. To see how far you two can go with this. I knew. Mom, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. I pushed you too far. You are a young girl that still have a lot to do with your life. I'm sorry I imposed marriage on you because I thought a marriage will change you, will make you see life from a different direction. I'm sorry. Come here. I'm sorry. Sorry, sweetheart. Can I tell you one secret? What you didn't know is that your father already transferred everything in your name before he died. I held it back because I thought that giving you that file earlier on would change you into something else. So everything is now yours. Okay? 
quit this game. Everything is yours. Ben, you are done with this game, right? So it's yours. You're welcome. I have packed my bags. My driver will come and pick them later. I'll be going home from the office. Any time to deposit papers out, send them to me, I'll sign them. Have a great life. I have a great life too. So this is it. Yeah. This is it. I don't like the way everything ended between you and Ben. Tell me the truth. Did you at some point feel anything for him? Let's forget the past. It's all gone. Ella, just be a woman. Accept your weakness. Tell me the truth. I won't hold it against you. Do you feel anything for him? Part of me wished he stopped me this morning. But I guess he don't want to spoil his brat in his life. It's okay. So you think I was just going to watch you live my life like that. Ella, I was never ready for your troubles, but you made me get used to it. I never thought I was going to fall in love with a hot-headed lady like you. But here I am falling helplessly in love with a woman I thought I hated so much. You know, when you left this morning, a part of me really wanted to hold you back. But I really wanted to be sure about how I feel about you. Ella, I know you really need someone who will love you for who you are. Someone who will respect you and adore you. Not some hot-headed young man who feels he doesn't need a woman. I don't want to go through with the divorce.
I need you. And I really want you to come home with me. And I want to wake up every single morning beside you. I'm still a spoiled brat. I know. Some things don't just change. Oh well, we'll find a way around it. I really want you to know that. I love you. And I really want to be with you. I love you too. 